Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkenes and Hello Arenes part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. To classify based on the hybridization, right? So based on the hybridization of the carbon atoms to which my halogen is bonded, for example, I have this carbon and on this I have my halogen. So based on hybridization of this, not this, right? let's suppose this is CS3. So I'm talking about the hybridization of this guy because here my halogen is bonded. So based on hybridization of this carbon, let me number this carbon 1, carbon 2. So based on the hybridization of carbon 1, I can further classify right, this uh, halogen case. So if it is sp3 hybridized, so in that case it is called, it is either alkyl halides, allylic halides or benzylic halides. If it is sp2 hybridized, it is either vinylic halide or aryllic halide. So let, let me repeat once again. So if it is sp3 hybridized, it is either alkylic halides, allylic halides or benzylic halides. If it is sp2 hybridized, if this carbon is sp2 hybridized, it is either vinylic halides or aryllic halides. So please note, these two are uh, sp2 hybridized, so it has to be a double bond. Double bond on the carbon that is on carbon that is attached to halogen. Here, since it is sp3, it has to be single bond on carbon that is attached to halogen. Correct? So, for single bond, we have three varieties, alkyl, allylic and benzylic and for double bond, we have vinylic and aryllic. So, let's talk about these things now. Alkylic halogen. Alkyl halides actually. So alkyl halide is the name suggests. You know alkyl groups. You take any alkane, for example, methane. You remove one carbon, so CH4 becomes CH3. This is a methyl group, right? Similarly, this is ethyl group. From methane, you get ethyl group. You remove one hydrogen. This we have learned in the class 11, so where we remove one hydrogen from an alkane group and you get alkyl, right? From alkane, you take any alkane and you subtract hydrogen, one hydrogen, you get what? Alkyl. So in, in that alkyl, since there is a bond here, you add one halogen, you get alkyl halide. For example, in this case, CS3 is my alkyl, that is methyl, and Cl is my halogen. This is alkyl halide, correct? Now this alkyl halides can be further classified as primary, secondary or tertiary. In primary, we have learned this also. So in primary, so it, the, the carbon which I have, uh, which has a alkane will be attached to zero other carbon or one carbon. In secondary, the, the carbon which has halogen, for example, this guy will be attached to two other carbon atom in tertiary the carbon that has halogen attached will be attached to three other carbon atoms. Correct? That's what primary, secondary and tertiary means. Similarly here also primary, secondary and tertiary alkyl halide means the same thing. So please note here alkyl halide you have a, some alkyl group and that is attached to halide. So the name suggests alkyl halide that means you have alkyl group and a halide group. So here you have a CS2 group that is methyl group and Cl that is a halide group that is chloro group. So this is methyl chloride. And is it primary, secondary or tertiary? So let's see. This is the carbon that is attached to chlorine. And let's see this carbon is attached to how many carbon? Zero carbon. So zero carbon. So zero carbon is what? Primary. So this is primary alkyl halide. Correct. Let's see this guy. This guy has uh, some R dash here. Anything. It can be CS3. It can be C2H5. Anything. And then if you see has a chlorine. This carbon is one which is important to us because this is the carbon on which my halogen groups attached. So this carbon is linked to how many carbon? Only one, right? So if you see there are four valency with the carbon. One is linked to chlorine, two linked to hydrogen, so only one left and this has to have some carbon. So it is one carbon. So one carbon means what? Again primary. So this is also primary alkyl halide. Let's talk about this guy. So in this particular compound, 
this carbon is my critical carbon and because this is linked to my halogen group halide group so this carbon is linked to two other carbon right so two other carbon is secondary so this is secondary secondary alkyl halide similarly with this guy in this carbon this uh, in this case this carbon is critical to us because this is the carbon that is linked to chlorine and this carbon has three other carbon atom attached right because all these r has one carbon so it is three carbon atom attached that is it is tertiary alkyl halide correct so what is alkyl halide you have alkyl group plus you have halide group and that is alkyl halide so it can be primary it can be secondary it can be tertiary if it is zero or one carbon attached example in these two cases it is primary if the carbon on which i have a halogen group if that carbon is bonded to two other carbon atom it is secondary the carbon which has a halogen group if that particular carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atom it is tertiary alkyl halides the next is allylic halide so here the carbon in which halogen atom is attached that is again sp3 as i told this is all sp3 category the carbon is sp3 right this carbon cx carbon this carbon is sp3 hybridized but the only extra thing is instead of this carbon to be alkyl this carbon is attached to a carbon that is double bond for example in this case this is the primary carbon i am looking for and here this is the primary carbon i am looking for because this is the carbon where halogen is attached but this whole thing is not a alkyl group because it is a double bond correct so if you see now this carbon is attached to a carbon that is double bond carbon so it is allylic group please note this is my center of attraction carbon the main carbon because this is the carbon which has a halogen group attached correct so this carbon is sp3 again we see right this carbon is sp3 1 2 3 4 right this carbon also 1 2 3 and there is one more hydrogen here so this carbon is sp3 hybridized but this carbon is attached to a carbon that is double bond for example here also if you see this carbon is attached to a carbon that is double bond so it is called allylic halide because this is called allylic carbon this is called allylic carbon this is called allylic carbon and this is also allylic carbon please note this guy is allylic carbon sorry this guy this guy is my allylic carbon so if my carbon that is attached to a halogen group is attached to a allylic carbon this is allylic carbon this is allylic carbon why because that is a double bond carbon that is called allylic halide correct so if my carbon that is linked to halogen if carbon that is linked to halogen if this carbon is attached to a allylic carbon so this is my allylic carbon correct so this is my me uh, hero or you can say this is the guy who i'm looking for because this is the one which is attached to halogen so if this hero is attached to allylic carbon it's called allylic halide why allylic carbon because this carbon is a double bonded carbon correct so next is benzylic halide so in this case the hero carbon this is my hero carbon this is the hero carbon because this is the one which is linked to uh, my halogen this is linked to a benzyl group so this is something like this it's a benzyl group and then i have a carbon and then i have a x this is the format this is benzylic carbon why because the hero here my carbon this hero carbon because this is the one which is attached to my halogen is attached to a benzyl group so it's called benzylic carbon please note that this here in this case my halogen is not directly attached to ring for example if this is the case right and my halogen attached here this is not a benzylic carbon please note right for example again i'll say this is just to repeat here benzyl and x this is not a benzylic carbon this is a benzylic halide why because see in all these benzylic halide allylic halide and 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 uh, my alkylic halide right the hero carbon the carbon is attached to an alkyl group right 
और बेंजाई ग्रुप और अलाइल ग्रुप करेक्ट सो इन दिस केस माई हीरो कार्बन इज दिस एंड इट हैज टू बी अटैच टू बेंजाई ग्रुप सो आई कॉन्ट हैव हेलोजन डायरेक्टली अटैच टू अरोमेटिक कंपाउंड बेंजीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल दैट हैज अ डिफरेंट नेम बिकॉज इन दिस केस इज एस पी टू हैबिटाइज विल विल टॉक अबाउट दिस बट इन दिस केस प्लीज नोट इन बेंजाइलिक हेलाइड राइट माई द कार्बन विच इज अटैच टू हेलोजन दैट इज माई हीरो कार्बन द हीरो गाय दट हीरो कार्बन इज अटैच टू बेंजाइलिक ग्रुप सो द हेलोजन इज नॉट डायरेक्टली अटैच टू बेंजीन रिंग इट इज इनडायरेक्टली अटैच फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर ऑल्सो इफ इज अ कार्बन हेयर आयोडिन इज अटैच हेयर एंड दिस आयोडिन इफ यू सी दिस कार्बन इज नॉ अटैच टू बेंजीन करेक्ट बिकॉज टू देर टू अदर पॉइंट यू कैन पुट एनी थिंग एल्स यू कैन पुट हाइड्रोजन ऑल्सो यू कैन पुट सम आर ऑल्सो डजन मैटर बट दिस फॉर्मेट हैज टू बी देयर फॉर इट टू बी अ बेंजाइलिक हेलाइट करेक्ट so if it is attached to a, uh, the carbon which is the hero carbon which is attached to halogen if that carbon is attached to ben aromatic ring it's called benzylic halide the next is vinylic halide so here if you see the halogen itself is attached to a double bonded carbon atom so the format is something like this i have a double bonded carbon atom and in this carbon atom itself i have a halogen attached so this is my format of vinylic halide and here if you see it is all sp2 hybridized because if you see this carbon this is my hero carbon here hero carbon itself is a double bonded carbon and this guy if you see is a double sp2 hybridized so if you see sp2 other examples are this guy this is also my vinylic halide this is also my vinylic halide because this carbon right on which my chlorine is attached it itself a double bond correct so this is my vinylic halide where my carbon the hero carbon on which my halogen is attached it itself attached to a double bonded carbon this is sp2 hybridized the next is aryl halide these guy here you see this halogen is attached to aromatic ring directly please note this is the aromatic ring so i have a aromatic ring in this directly this halogen is attached this is aromatic ring directly this halogen is attached this is called aryl halide correct so there is a difference between benzyl halide and aryl halide so if i have this compound this is my benzyl halide and i have this compound where bromine is directly attached to my ring this is my aryl halide this is my benzyl halide and this is my aryl halide and please note whatever type we have discussed till now they are all mono halo alkenes or mono halo arenes because they have all one carbon right so we discussed what we discussed we discussed aryl halide we discussed vinyl halide we discussed benzyl benzylic halide we discussed allylic halides and we also discussed alkyl halides so now let's take one example we to classify these halides we have taken the same examples in the past few five six slide but just want to double check if you are on the same page let's classify this halide let's see what is this So this is a carbon, and this carbon is double bond. So this is my hero carbon. Let me first draw a hero carbon. This is my hero carbon. This hero carbon is attached to a double bond, right? So what is this? It is vinylic halide. Why? Because the carbon I have, the hero carbon is my the car the hero carbon is attached to is a double bond carbon, correct? The hero carbon is double bond carbon. So this is vinylic halide. So in this case also. my hero carbon is this guy and this is also double bonded carbon so these both are my vinylic halide let's take this this is my hero carbon and this is my hero carbon here so my hero carbon is attached to a benzene ring here also my hero carbon is attached to a benzene ring so they are called benzylic halide why my hero carbon is attached to a benzene ring correct let's take this guy 
This is my hydrocarbon. This is my hydrocarbon. So my hydrocarbon itself part of the benzene ring. So my halogen is directly attached to a benzene ring. If you see, my halogen is directly attached to a benzene ring in both cases. So these are my aryl halide. Why? Because my halogen is directly attached to a benzene ring. Let's let's see this guy. This is my hydrocarbon. Here also, if you see, this is my hydrocarbon. Is this a benzene ring? This is a aromatic ring. No, it is not an aromatic ring. So in both cases, if you see, my hydrocarbon is attached to a carbon. Is attached to a carbon. I'll put a star here, and that carbon is double bond. So my hydrocarbon is attached to allylic carbon. So it is. Allylic halide, correct? Since my hero hero carbon is attached to allylic carbon, is called allylic halide. So let's see this guy. So this is my hero carbon. Here, this is my hero carbon. Hero carbon, hero carbon. So if you see in all these cases, my hero carbon is alkyl. This is my alkyl actually, right? So these are all my alkyl halide. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.